In this Python tutorial, I will show you how to create this website using Django. We will use ChatGBT to assist us while building the website with Django. Let's get started. First, I will create a virtual environment. Creating a virtual environment helps reduce the chances of encountering issues in your projects. I open the command prompt. You can use this command to create a virtual environment. To make sure the commands run inside the virtual environment, open the activate.bat file. If you see this message, you have done everything correctly. First, I will install the Django framework. The necessary files will be installed shortly. Next, I will create a Django project. The folder created for Django contains many files. I navigate to the newly created Django folder. Inside this folder, I will create an application named Display Text. A folder for the application has been created. In the Applications folder, I will copy this code into Weaves. The entered text will be saved in a variable. Then we will display this text on an HTML page. I will create the index.html file under this folder. I copy the HTML file. I will create a folder named Templates. In the Templates folder, I create an HTML file. The HTML code contains objects like labels, inputs, and buttons. The index.html file is not in the display takes folder. I configure it as the templates folder. For the URL, I need a Python file. When accessing the website, if no path is specified, the index function in the views file will be called. I want to demonstrate that index is the name of the function. In the main project's urls.py file, I need to make a modification. If no path is specified while accessing the website, all routing will be handled by the urls.py file in the display text folder. Finally, I will run the application. But before running it, I need to modify the settings.py file. This is because the main project doesn't know where the index.html file is located. There is a variable in the code for the base directory. I print this variable in the console. The index.html file is in the templates folder inside the text F folder. Therefore, I will add the templates folder to the directory list using the base directory variable. Lastly, I add the display text app to the install app list. Now I will run the application. Visit this address using a browser.
enter some text. When you click the button, the enter text will be displayed on the screen. You can watch other Python tutorials on this channel.